Hi guys, let's see today's question. So today's question is based on the idea of the concept of matrices, where it is given to us in the question that matrix A is 100, 011, and 0, minus 2. So this is the matrix given to us, and it says 6 times A inverse is A square plus C into A plus B into I. And further, they are asking us, four options are given to us, and they are asking what are the values of C and D given, right? So we need to find those values of C and D. Let's do that. Before that, if I first solve this and find out this values of A square plus C A plus D, or before that first, let's find six times of A inverse. So if I want to find A inverse first, See, there are various methods to find A inverse. You can also go by that cofactor matrix and adjoint matrix method. But here, if you see, if you use elementary row transformation, it will be very much visible because already there are terms which are made 1, 0, 0. This is also 0, 1. So we only need to convert some of the terms. So here, if you go by that method of elementary row transformation, it will be very much visible. So if I use this idea, A into A inverse is I, where A is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 2, and 0, 1, into A inverse, that is our identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now further, we have already 1, 0, 0 in the first column. Now we need to make 1 is already present. So this is 0. We need to make this also 0. So how to make that? I will put this operation R3 as R3 plus 2R2. That will make it 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, because minus 2 and plus 2 makes it 0, 0, 1. And R3 is 4 plus 2 times 1, that is 4 plus 2, 6. And here it becomes 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now here, if you see the operations for R3, if I use, it is used using R2. So R2 is already zero, 0 here in this 2. So it does not make any difference. It will remain same. Only here, R3 will change. That is 0 plus 2 into 1. That is 2. Further, I want to make in the third column, first of all, this as 1. So I will multiply R3 by 1 by 6. Or I will divide R3 by 6. So what I get is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0 again, 0, 1, 0 again, 0. This is 2 by 6 and this is 1 by 6. Further, only the last thing that we need to do is make this R2, 0. So to make R2, 0, what I can use is I can use the help of R3. Because that will not change any of the other two values of R2. So I can write R2 as R2 minus R3. That gives me 1, 0, 0 here, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. End to A inverse. So this becomes an identity matrix and you get A inverse. 1, 0, 0. This was 0, 2 by 6, and this was 1 by 6. Now, R2 becomes R2 minus R3, so 0 minus 0 here, it is 0 only. Here it becomes 1 minus 2 by 6, that is 4 by 6. And here it becomes 0 minus 1 by 6, that is minus 1 by 6. So if I take 6 common from this entire thing, I get A inverse, that is. So if I take 6 common from the entire matrix, 1 by 6 is common. And... Here also then I can write it as 6 because 6 by 6 will make it 1, 0, 0, 0, 4, minus 1, 0, 2, 1. So this is your A inverse or I should say 6 times of A inverse also you can find out by just taking 6 there. So you get that matrix 6, 0, 0, 0, 4, minus 1 and 0. So you get this idea, 6 A inverse, the left hand part, side part you know now. Let's find A square and then we will equate these ideas to get C and D. So now 
if I equate it with a square, first of all, let's find a square. A square is nothing but multiplying a two times. So multiplication of matrices, as you know, that is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 0, minus 2. 0, 1, 1, and 0, minus 2. So now if I find this two, this becomes 1. This, if I multiply, it becomes 1 into 0, 0, 0. This again becomes 0. This, if I multiply with this 0, 0, and 0. So they will also get 0. This is 0 plus 1, 1, and 1 minus 2 is minus 1. This, if I multiply with this 0 into 0, 0, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 4, 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5. This, if I multiply, becomes 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0. This becomes 0 plus minus 2. So 0 minus 2 minus 2 and minus 2 minus 8 minus 10. This again becomes 0 minus 2 plus 16. That is 14. So I get a square. Also. Now 6 times a inverse is given to me as a square plus c a plus d. Let's find out. So 6 times a inverse we already found out that was 6 0 0. Write that. 6, 0, 0, 0, 4, and minus 1, and 0, 2, 1. That is a square. So a square is 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 5, 0, minus 10, and 2, plus c times a. a is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 0, minus 2, plus D times I. I is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So now, if you see this, if I take only comparing the first terms here, 6 is equal to 1 plus C into 1 is C and D into 1 is C plus D becomes 5. Second expression. Uh, if I equate this 0, 0, this is also 0. This is again 4 equals to minus 1 plus c plus d. So 4 plus 1 will again make it 5. So c plus d again you get as 5. If we equate this term. So what you get here is minus 1 is equal to 5 plus c plus 0 d that is c. So c becomes minus 1 minus 5. Sorry. So minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6. And if I write it here minus 6 plus d is 5. So D becomes 5 plus 6 divided. So the combination which was asked to us in the question that says C comma D that we need to find out. It is minus 6 comma 11. And that is our correct answer for the question. And that is option A. So option A is the correct answer for this question of matrices asked. I hope you have understood this question. We'll take again another question tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow then. Till then. Like, share and subscribe if you really found this helpful. Thank you.